Okay, final part. The first one, well, the next one is one I haven't watched yet. Wonderland. Um, I got this because it was cheap and it's tartan. Tartan do good stuff. Um, I've, yeah, I've never actually heard of it before. Um, but it looks good. It's got... Um, Lisa Kudrow in it from Friends, actually. What does it say? Summer of 1981 is at the end of an extraordinary prof prolific career as the world's biggest porn star. <laughs> um, I don't even know what it's about, to be honest. But it just <clears throat> looks quite... From the cover, it looks good, anyway. Um, maybe some of you have seen it or know what it's about. But I'll probably watch this soon. See what it's about. Um, attractive image there. Check the list and usual write up from um, that Tartan usually do. Just the one disc. And it was, it's a 2004 film. Yeah, sorry, I can't say much. The next one was inspired by my VHS collection as well. It's C. Jane Date. You might have remembered that I. it was one of the ones I had taped. Or someone from America sent me. It was taped off US TV. Um, last time I saw this, I was 16. I'm not sure what I think of it now because it, it just looks. It's a TV movie starring Charisma Carpenter uh, from Buffy and Friends. I think Charisma Carpenter is great, so that's why I watched it originally. And just one disc. It's just. Um, oh, it's based on. A best-selling novel. Basically, she can never find a date, and does she find one in the end? I don't even know. I've watched it. I watched it twice, though. So I mean, it must have been alright. And it's also stars Holly Marie Co Coombs. 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 Holly Marie Coombs from Charmed. She plays Piper in Charmed. Um. Yeah. Not much to say about that. But I got it for a couple of quid. So. Just to upgrade the VHS. I don't know what spurred me to buy them, but... Uh, Brady Bunch movie. Never really seen the TV show, but I've always loved this movie since I was a kid. It just cracked me up. The fact, like, their whole house, everything they wear is, like, 70s, and then you go next door and it's, like, all modern. I like that chapter list and the disc um, and also like the middle daughter what's her name is it Jan yeah Jan's hearing this, a psychotic inner voice crying Marcia 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 which is the older sister and she's like the middle one's like crazy and the younger one's got a lisp I just loved it um, I, I reckon I'd like the TV show as well but I just thought this was hilarious and of course a very Brady sequel. I like this one as well. I think I've seen the first one more. But this is the one where they go away on holiday. Um, I think her original husband comes back or something. Yeah. It says here, genuine movie rarity, a sequel better than the original. Um, I don't know if that's true because I haven't seen it in a while, but. I always liked both of the movies, so you have to you have to get both of them really. The next one is appears in like everyone's update recently. It's Ratatouille, two disc collector's edition. As I've said before with Disney movies, no point waiting for the price to drop because they rarely do. I got this for like I got it nine pound with the option of a second Disney movie for five pound. So got a suitcase. We've seen this in everyone's videos, two discs, get a free book if you want, like in the Aristocats one, and you use your crap. Ratatouille, everybody will tell you it's a good movie, I thought it was good, however, I wasn't as in love with it as I thought I'd be, that's possibly because everyone was saying you know, how amazing it is. It is good, don't get me wrong, but... Um, actually, Pixar movie-wise, I've seen all the Pixar movies except for um, 
cars and this is not one of my favourites, my favourites Finding Nemo then Monsters Inc um, I like Toy Story, I like Bugs Life I liked all those a bit slightly better than this probably on par with The Incredibles, still very good though um, Disney Pixar movies are great so saying the option to get a second one for £5 I got Toy Story 10th Anniversary Edition two disc set because um, Toy Story is great I need to get Toy Story 2 as well. I always like the first one a bit better though. Um, yeah, it's just got all new bonus features and stuff. Everyone's seen Toy Story. So this next one I'd almost forgot because I had it on display. Um, but I've just remembered it and it's a pretty good one. It's the Old Boy um, Special Edition Region 1 set. It's a Tartan DVD set. There's old issue from Old Boy with Hammer. This is a very good movie. It's part of the Vengeance trilogy. You got Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, which I've got but have not watched yet. And Lady Vengeance. And Old Boy's in the middle, but you don't have to watch them in order. It's a really nice tin set. And it's uh, I think it's three disc. It's got a list of features and stuff. You get the original manga I started reading this actually now I've seen the film you can watch this first but you know read this first but as you can see it's really thick so that's kind of cool and then you have the film cell old day Sue fighting for his last 15 years if you can see it's just it's like one of the final scenes in the movie it's got some details about the actor. And then they come in these cardboard digis. You've got disc one, which has commentaries, like free commentaries or something on it. Um, disc two, behind the scenes documentaries, cruise interviews, etc. Et and disc three, the autobiography of Old Boy. That's it. Um, God, this film is amazing. It just kind of messes with your mind at the end. At the end, you're just like... <gasps> but, um... Yeah, kind of disturbing as well, like, the ending. But a really good film. Um, this scene here is, like, a, taken in, like, a single shot, and it's shot from, basically, this view, side view, and it's, um... He basically takes out all these guys with a hammer, which is why the hammer is like a symbol of old boy but I definitely need to check out the other movies but yeah even if you don't get this uh, region 1 tin set check out old boy, it's an awesome film and the last one is Adventures in Babysitting, probably my favourite out of the whole lot to be honest with you because um, it's a classic 80s movie and you may have noticed the, the music um, in my first part, and I'll put a bit on the end of this, it's the opening scene to this movie, and it's called And Then He Kissed Me by The Crystals. I know Al Pacino185 was saying he really liked the song, so I'm going to put the the clip of the movie, the parts in the movie, in the sidebar, so check that out, because it's a great opening to this movie. This was... 1987 just a disc this is like a bare bones that's all that's out but this is so good basically there's this babysitter Elizabeth Shue who you'll see in the clip if you watch it uh, she babysits basically one of her friends is stuck at a bus depot she has to pick her up so she has to take the kids with her and they get into all sorts of trouble and there's some really good scenes in it like there's a scene where they they end up in a blues club and they're not allowed to leave unless they sing so they sing the babysitting blues it's just um really fun it's like you know all the john hughes movies that 
everybody loves from the 80s, like Breakfast Club, all that. It's in the same league as that. I'm really surprised he didn't write it, to be honest with you. But apparently they're making a remake of this with, with Raven from Disney. Um, I think she's cool, but seriously, they can't remake this. This is amazing. Seriously, get it. You can pick this up for like two or three pounds. So, yep, um, check out the clip from this. And that is the end of my... Video.